Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> Did I do that right? You gotta have like a higher pitched voice. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Too high, you gotta go deeper. Hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> That's how you should start your next one, just like a really seductive. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. I think that'll be the wrong impression though. <laughs> Oh man, welcome to another Pixelmon episode. I'm here with Just Vaughn. Hello. Um, we're about to execute the trade of all trades. The execution. Yeah, you are executing me. This is <laughs> no. you drive a hard, hard bargain. This man. is a fair, fair trade. I don't know about that. I think this is really good. You're getting a great deal here. I'm about to trade one of my three <laughs> shiny Magikarp. Uh -huh. Although one of them's no longer a shiny Magikarp. He's now a red Gyarados. Um <sighs> But you're gonna have you're an exclusive club now, man. I, I want it. I think they're really cool. I I don't know if you saw the episode, but like I saw one and like I ran in and I didn't even kill it. It was like I put down my PC to get a guy with false swipe. Uh huh. And as soon as I logged out, it despawned. Oh, I hate it when that happens. That's happened to me a bunch of times. Not with shinies, but with bosses and uh, and legendaries and stuff. It was the worst. It mm -hmm. was. It, there was like. A minute of silence afterward in my video. You like, <laughs> just you just stared just, just in amazement. Staring. So this is going to be like the revenge for that. And so you want? Okay, yeah. So the deal is deal. Okay, item number one. Throw it over here. Let me make sure this is the right one. Fortune three pick. I mentioned in my last episode. I'm all out of fortune three picks. I watched it break. So uh, yeah, this I isn't probably... just a fortune three pick. This is the. Mm. Fortune 3, break, and breaking 3. And efficiency. efficiency. That is a good pick. This is very nice. Okay, okay. That's part one of the trade. Let's execute part <laughs> Why are you so sad? Because it's so much stuff, man. No, this is a great deal. Part two of the trade. One of My favorite attack. Earthquake TM. Love me my Earthquake TMs. Okay, part, part three. All of this, man. You. Yes. Yes. Power. Speed. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, get it. Get in me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, that's eight. Eight Take slots. Anymore. Okay, good. Yep. yep. I have one free slot left. That's fantastic. And then, now I guess all that's left is for me to give you the, the shiny magic card. Uh, we got a trade machine upstairs in okay. this room. Yeah, I'll see you later. No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me use my, my new sword of justice. Oh, I forgot to take mine. I got to get back down in there and, and get it. Is there up here? Yeah, it's up, yeah, here. it's up here. You know I built all that, right? Oh, this has got to he's got to be in my inventory. You built the whole thing, right? Yeah, I That's did. That's impressive. It. You're amazing. I have no life. You are <laughs> You are very good at all the things. All the things except redstone. Negotiating trades. And negotiating <laughs> trades. I'm finally getting it at least. Um okay, so there's shiny magic card for you. You just give me whatever. Give me any garbage you want to give me. Okay. I just caught this Nidoran right now. Uh, uh, for me, it shows that you're giving me a, a shiny magic carp as well, but I'm assuming... <laughs> just get ready, it will be fine. All right. Yes! Okay, I got yes. a Nidor Nidoran male. Ooh, Magikarp. there he is. <laughs> He's amazing! <laughs> Look how glorious he is. It's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> oh my god, what a derp. Look at him. <laughs> anyway, yes, this is a good totally trade for me. It. This totally is a fantastic right. trade. I think it's a good trade for both of us. Yeah. I mean, do you even need quartz anymore? Uh, you know, like every now and then for like a little cabinet or something. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much where I'm at too, actually. My gym, but oh, and I haven't even showed it on video. I'm about to. Um, it's it's pretty much finished. All I got to do is work on the entrance, and and we're done. Nice. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with quartz. I I left like I kept a little bit for myself, like half a stack. Mm -hmm just in case I need it for little detail work. But otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty much done, I think. Cool. Well, thank you very much for the trade. Thank you, good sir. And um, good luck with that uh, that derpy fish you got. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what we'll do next episode is turn him into a Gyarados. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. I think that was a pretty good trade. What do you guys think? I mean, for me, that seemed like a pretty good trade. Oh, he's unable to battle. I'm not going to... Oh, I don't have very... Wow. Right through his face. I don't have very good uh, Pokemon with me to battle. Hopefully we can do something. Yeah, that's not bad. Come on, Tangela. Don't die on me. Just just do some damage. If you're not the one to kill this guy, somebody else will. Did I miss or, or did I, am I asleep or something? Agility. K. 
Okay. I regained energy. You know what I have? I have ancient power. Let's use ancient power. It's a rock type. If you hit birds with rocks, <laughs> they don't like that, right? Uh, level 50. What will Tangela do? What? What? Oh, that was weird. That's a psychic TM. Then I got these things. I have a lot of... Okay, I guess I can get rid of this stuff. I need this dirt, and I'll show you guys why in just a second. I think that's all the space I needed. Here is why. I've been working on my gym off camera a lot. Like, a lot. I finished all the walls except for the entrance, like I mentioned when I was uh, trading with Vaughn. And uh, the only thing left to do now is to do the upper section to make it look a little neater. Because before, remember, I had like those stairs coming downwards and it was just exposed uh, stone stairs. Not very cool. So I actually did that whole thing off camera in wood, like wood stairs upside. I'll show you in a second. It's kind of hard to explain. But um, it looks really, really cool. And then just as I was finishing the top, just as I was finishing the top, I thought, hey, you know, it would look even cooler. So now I'm going to take down all the progress that I just made. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. You see this? So it's going to be open up there, and I'll show you. Uh, I wonder if I can get up. I don't think I can get up there through here yet. I'm going to make that the viewing platform, guys. So instead, oh yeah, I can. So instead of uh, being, I guess, forced. Oh, crap. Really? Did I just do that? Instead of being forced to, to view from the, the branch, I'll probably still leave the little branch platform if people want to watch from there. But, you're not forced to watch from there anymore. You can watch from this platform from here. You get a great view, and there's going to be fence around here too. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> these, are all, these are all slabs, okay? Every last one of them. And I got to about here, and look, I've already started breaking them. I wonder, I don't have inventory space anyway. I've already started breaking them. I, I did all of this. I got to here. Here. This much space left. And I saw this dirt, and I thought to myself, you know what would be even cooler than slabs up here? Grass. Grass would be amazing up here. So now, guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to take down all of these slabs. Every last one of them. Except for the edges no i'm taking down the edges too i think i'm gonna make the edges out of stone as well just to have a little bit of a border around this side um maybe i should put carpet or something no yeah let's make it stone anyway all these slabs have to come out excuse me and i have to replace it or replace them <laughs> with dirt with dirt uh is this a stair here This part's gonna be tricky with the with the whole dirt. You know what? Just replace the whole thing. Oh, that was a stair. That probably that's probably supposed to stay there too. Hmm. Can I still do it from here? If I do that, oh god, no, I can't. Anyway, you guys don't have to see that. I'm about to tear down. That's why I have this axe too, this diamond axe. I should enchant it, but I only have ten levels. But now that I got the nether quartz ore, I can use my newly acquired fortune three pick. Get those levels, enchant the axe, and bust the crap. Oh, this guy. Out of these uh, out of these slabs. So it shouldn't take me very long. Um, but first, I gotta get rid of a bunch of stuff in my inventory. This is getting stop! It's getting pretty crazy. Oh my god, what the heck is going on here? Why couldn't I climb that thing? Anyway, I'll be back soon. Hey, another boss! I'm actually on my way. Just one level Tangela, level 50. Tangela's getting some work done today. I'm, act I'm actually on my way. I have 30 levels now. I'm on my way to um, enchant this axe. <laughs> It'll be such a help. I just need efficiency anything on the axe. Seriously. Efficiency anything. Wasn't very effective. What? Let's try ancient power again. I keep trying the... Yeah, ancient power is super effective. I should be using this on these, these guys. Boom. Fainted level 51. What will... Why is... Is this a glitch? Why does it keep telling me... To do it again. Driftloon fainted. Ooh. Power whip. Ooh. 120. The user violently whirls its vines or tentacles to harshly lash the target. It only has an accuracy of 85, though. 
Knockoff is terrible. It's a dark attack, but only does 20 damage. So I think I'm going to replace... Giga Drain... Hmm. That, I, I like Giga Drain because it restores my energy. It's really useful to restore my energy. And it's 100%. Tickle is an interesting status attack. Reduces attack and defense stats of the opponent. Hmm. I think I'll replace Knock Off just because it's terrible. Um, yeah. Why do I have to keep fighting? Why does it keep... Oh, I thought it was another Earthquake. Sandstorm, Premier Ball, Waterstone, and Revive. That was weird. Why did it keep... Like, three times I had to keep fighting when the thing was already dead. Anyway, let's enchant this... Um, axe. Really, really quickly. Hopefully we don't get into any battles here. <laughs> there, apparently there's a way to turn off these random battles. And, uh, you know, I would not be opposed to that. Because there's just... Sometimes you're just walking somewhere... And you get like a level 4 Rattata. <laughs> Rattata. However you want to say it. I'm not sure why I said it like that. Like these guys. And they want to fight you for some reason. They, they, You know, they pick out your level 60 guy and they want to fight. It's just a big waste of time is all it is, really. Um, but we're going to... We're totally going to use uh, Just Vaughn's enchanting system too to enchant. And I... Ah, see, this is what I... Look at level 7. Really? When I can't use Giga Drain anymore. Here, take up Ancient Power to the face. Wait, did I just see... Okay, he does have Power Whip. I thought... I, oh, for a second there, I thought it didn't uh, didn't show up. Alright, let's get this Axe Enchanted. This is going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Efficiency 4! Perfect! That's all I wanted. <sighs> Alright, now to get to work, we're moving all of that wood. Is that a shiny? That would have been hilarious if I found a shiny right in front of his place. <laughs> Phase one complete. I've removed all of the slabs. I can't. Oh my gosh, man! I can't believe I did this. Oh, there's. You know what? I'm gonna need a bunch of grass too, and dirt. Well, I guess I'm just gonna need dirt, not grass. Um, so shouldn't be too much of a big deal. I started way down there. By the time I got, I get, or I'm. By the time I'm getting over here again. Oh, look at that! They're like they're like despawning as I walk. Some of these I collected, but I didn't really want to. <laughs> I really just wanted him to despawn. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this many half slabs. There was a lot more too than 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 this. A lot of them have despawned. Like over here, that's what was all along the side there. <sighs> Maybe I'll sell half slabs too. But anyway, now begins the process. Wow, that is loud. I bet you the sound turned up. Yep, sound turned up. I switched jars. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I switched jars for a split second. All of a sudden, sound is blasting. Um, now begins the process of filling this all in with dirt and grass and waiting for it to grow. It's going to look really nice. I want to make those stands up here, guys. Like I was talking about like little booths and stuff to sell the TMs and maybe even some, some other items. Um, I kind of want to make them. I want to make them up here. And there's something else I wanted to try, too. I'm not sure if we'll get to that this episode. But um, if it works, it's going to be pretty cool. But I uh, I doubt it will work. Anyway, I have a lot of work to do. Um, I'll check back with you guys once I am nearing completion. If that is even a thing that is going to happen this episode. Because I have so, so much blocks to put up. So many blocks to put up. My English is just suffering terribly lately. Been hanging around with Anders too much. <laughs> Alright, we are just about done with the grass. I wish I had this idea from the beginning. I didn't actually fill it all with slabs before I decided that they suck. Anyway, yeah, it's taken me quite a few stacks, probably an inventory full. My, my shovel is pretty much dead, and my axe is over halfway gone. So that was an effective use of tools. It really was, actually, otherwise it would have taken me forever. Imagine I had to do this with, like, an iron axe, or just even a regular diamond axe with no enchants. That would have taken me forever. Nope, that's not what we're going to fill the holes with. There we go, some dirt. So I have grass up here, and eventually it's going to spread. Did I do everything, or did I miss some spots? It looks like I did everything. It looks really good, and I can only imagine what it's going to look like when you have all the grass up here. It's going to be great. Wow, this grass is really spreading fast. 
I gotta make a bunch of um, offenses now, which which is kind of tough because I am out during this whole thing making these stairs. By the way, I know about these holes. I have I, I have ideas for these. I want to put vines falling down and maybe even some glowstone up there to to give it a little bit of light. Also, uh, oh there it is. I can't fix that because the block below it is affecting the block above it. I can't fix it. I've tried. There's a couple spots in every corner, I believe. There's one there. Uh, and I think one there. Yeah, I think it's always in the same spot. I just can't fix it. But it's not a big deal, because like I said, I want to fill the edges with vines and, and uh, leaves and stuff. So you're probably not going to be able to see it anyway. Um, what I was going to show you is this. I'm all out. This was all my wood that I had from chopping down the trees that were here. They're, it's, it's all gone. And you can't turn these back into wood planks, which is, or, yeah, wood planks, which is unfortunate. You know what else is unfortunate? This rain. God. Oh, there's a fence. <laughs> Twelve pieces of fence. I'm almost done. That is not the case. Uh, yep, more of this stuff. Let's just get rid of all these slabs. Is there any more fence here? There's some sticks. Yeah, you know what? It always feels like um, it always feels like it's dark on this server. Like it always feels like nighttime. I don't get it. Anyway, I started a tree farm here anyway, just so that have some wood to make fences. Um, some of them have grown, obviously, and some have not. There's another little uh, tiny tree farm right over there. I think. Yeah, I think you can see it from the bottom here. So now I've got to create a bunch of fences, put some fences around. Then I'm thinking about bone mealing all the grass up there to actually have like tall grass and stuff to make it look like an actual um, forest biome, right? Plain. Oh, this is plains. Um, an actual forest biome. So you have some grass. Maybe even put a couple little pieces of not pieces, but little bits of water with some sugar cane up there too. And then I'm gonna have the the sales booths. For the TMs, and there's going to be quite a few of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to make one for each, because there's a lot, right? So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Well, I definitely have enough room to do one for each. But for that, I'm going to need colored wool. Um, I believe I have quite a bit of wool on me. I'm not sure yet. Where am I going? I'm looking for this workbench, and uh, it's not happening. Workbench. Come here, workbench. I also have another idea for, um... <laughs> I guess... Tenders... Of the... TM stands. Like, actual salesmen. I don't think this is gonna work. But I'm gonna have to mess around with it. Oh, really? Oh, crap. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to do this. Little by little, we'll have enough... Wood... You know what I should do is replant these saplings because I know this is not going to be enough. In fact, there's got to be more saplings here, right? Yeah. Oh, there's one still planted. Sweet. Okay, let's replant these. And let me go ahead and put... Uh, oh, another one. I will, we'll leave that one over here for now. We're going to go ahead and put uh, these fences up. And hopefully we have a decent amount. What do we have? Like two stacks and ten. I'm sure I had some fences around here somewhere, like more than this, but I just can't. No, I can't find them right now. Yeah. <laughs> I sound disgusted with myself. Can't find fences? What are you good for? By the way, these are all leaving here. This is not a route that you want to be... Like, you're not even supposed to go back there. That's why it's so awkward back there. Anyway, let me go ahead and put... Oh, wow, look how tall those vines are getting. These in here have, like, grown all the way down, which is fine. I was going to cut them up at certain points and put strings so they don't grow anymore. But inside the tree, I think it's okay that they grow all the way down. Um, all right. So, this is what we're going to do now for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we are not, we are not lucky guys and girls. <laughs> Look at how much... Ooh, this might be awkward. There's dirt behind this leaf block. Might be able to see it. Look how short we are. We're one, two, three, basically four. Four fence posts. Oh, ouch. I was expecting to fall in the water there. Not it. Not on a lily pad that is apparently hard as a rock. 
Um, Alright, let me get some more wood here and finish up. And we'll have a good look around. I think it's going to be... I mean, I may not be one of the best Pokemon trainers out there. I almost said fighters. And you guys would have eaten me alive if I said fighters. Eating me alive! God, my voice. Um, yeah, I'm not one of the best Pokemon trainers out there. But you can bet your bottoms that I have one of the best gyms out there. That's right. I'm calling you out, other server members. Look at this beautiful gym. You're going to come in here and you're going to be intimidated. So intimidated by how beautiful the gym is that you're going to lose all the matches you ever have in here. Right? Lose all the matches. This is not an attempt to brainwash you. <laughs> there we go. So the way we get in here is not this way anymore. We want to have something like this. Which, you know what? Let's actually have this one out. Because it's right by the, the ladders. So as soon as you come up, this is going to be... You know what? We should have some stairs here. Or half slabs. You know what? Yeah, half slab. Why do I keep saying you know what? God! Shut up, guy. Alright, so as soon as you come up here, boom. Just come down this way. Fantastic. We could probably, we can get rid of this. Because there's this is not going to be useful anymore. No, it's just a useless little branch. Oh, but I don't have stuff to cover it up now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go get some more logs. But I won't make you guys watch that. I'm going to call the episode here, guys. I'm sorry if it's a little shorter than usual, but my goodness, there was a lot of work that went into this thing today. A whole lot of work. Just placing those upside-down steps took me forever. I hope you guys appreciate the work. And to show your appreciation, I've been mentioning this in each of my series for the last couple of days because people seem to forget, but please hit the like button. It really helps uh, the YouTubers, your favorite YouTubers, get discovered. <laughs> so it... It, so it what so 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 to speak that's the word I was looking for or phrase um, helps us get higher search results so remember to hit the like button for your favorite youtubers or maybe even not your favorite youtubers if you like the video you should hit the like button I often forget myself so I'm, I'm a little guilty of doing that myself but uh, but hopefully you guys remember and hopefully I remember and hopefully you enjoyed the episode I think this gym is just fantastic plus you get a great you get a much better view now of the of the surface, the fighting surface, the gym floor than you would from up there. But I'm going to leave that in anyway, just because I think it's a cool little feature to have if somebody wants to watch from up there. Yep, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.